back squat today. So that's a three, as you just read. It's an excellent exercise. So I'm just going to review uh, bar positioning and just some basic faults that we see and just go over the movement. All right? So we do what's called a low bar back squat. A lot of people, when they do a back squat first, the first thing they'll do is what's called a high bar position, where it's more on the neck. So this position here is a high bar position. This is what most people do naturally. It allows the torso to stay upright. Okay? Um, but we're going to do something called a low bar. And it's going to engage more muscle. It's going to allow us to use more of the posterior chain and lift more weight. So what we want to do is find this spot. Here's my low bar back position. So let's take a look at it first. The elbows are pulled back. The bar is resting on my shoulder blades, actually. Okay? So before you, as you're learning this, before you get into it, reach back. You can feel the spine of your, your shoulder blade. And the bar is going to rest just below that. Okay? And again, hand fully on top. You're not going to grab the bar with your thumb, but thumbs on top. Find that position. Drive the elbows back. Keep the wrists straight. You don't want to hold the bar with your wrist loaded. So keep those wrists over the top. Get underneath it. Stand straight up. All right? Take a big step back from the rack. Now your stance is going to be a little bit wider, actually, than your basic air squat. Okay? So when we squat, remember the hips are going to come back and down first. Keep pressing up against the bar the entire time. The hips come back, weight in the heel. The chest will dip forward slightly. Make sure you get below parallel. And then when you drive up, it's from the hips. So the hips drive up, finish with the chest. Okay? Again, back and down, stay in the heels, knees push out, below parallel. What we want to avoid is lifting the chest up first, rather we want to drive the butt. Okay? Drive from the hips and then finish at the top. Okay? So again, I'll show two good ones. Hips back, oh, hips back, drive up, finish, hips back, drive up from the hips and finish. Here are two bad ones. Squatting and driving up with the chest. Alright? Up with the chest. You don't want to see that. Okay? So as you start to get tired, the bar's gonna slide down your back a little bit. You need to stay active and engaged against the bar, okay? When I finish after my last rep, a lot of times I'll kind of jump it up and then walk it back in. Check both sides of the rack. Put it back in, make sure you're nice and safe. That's about it. That's the low bar back squat. When you first learn it, it can be a little uncomfortable, so take your time, find a spot at a lighter weight that feels good on your back, and then we'll load you up as we go. All right, so that's it. Have fun. Come and get some. See you tomorrow or today.